did you know that you can add things on to your Google Chrome, which is your web browser? These little add-ons are called Google Chrome extensions. Many different apps offer these extensions, and they can help you be more efficient and productive and access some of the things that you use frequently in a different way. I'll explain all about Google Chrome extensions today on Tuesday Tech Training. Hello, and welcome to Tuesday Tech Training. My name is Jennifer Stewart. I'm the owner of Gateway Productivity, and I'm a tech and productivity trainer. Today, I want to teach you about Google Chrome extensions. A lot of my clients have no idea that these exist, and it's amazing how much time they can save by implementing a few of them. Now, I won't be able to show you every Google Chrome extension because there are hundreds, thousands, maybe even more. What I will show you is where you can add them, how to change them, the settings, and things like that. So what exactly are these Google Chrome extensions? These are add-ons to your Google Chrome. That's why they're called extensions. They extend the ability of your web browser, which is Google Chrome. A lot of the apps that you use regularly might have Google Chrome extensions. For instance, there's one for Evernote, there's ones for password managers, there are timers, there's all kinds of stuff available to you. Every Google Chrome extension does something different, so I can't explain what every single one does, but for instance, the Evernote Web Clipper. That one will let you find a website and clip it straight into Evernote without having to open Evernote. There are other information programs such as Notion and OneNote that can do the same thing. There are basic extensions. As I mentioned before, there's a timer. If you just want to set a timer for how much time you want to spend on social media or researching a certain thing, you can set a timer as an extension in your Google Chrome. That way you don't have to open another app or get into your phone. Some other extensions that I know about are shopping extensions. If you want to mark certain things for a shopping list, Maybe you have virus protection that you want to extend to your web browser. That's often available for many of the virus protection software. And as I said, there are thousands of other options as well. If you can think of it, you can probably find an extension for it. As I've been explaining these extensions, it's probably explained a little bit about why you might want to use these. But as I said at the beginning, it's going to increase your efficiency and productivity. The timer obviously can keep you on task. Being able to send things straight into some of your apps, such as OneNote, Google Keep, Evernote, without having to open those apps can save you time. And the extensions for virus protection can help with your security. So these extensions can do all kinds of things for you. Now that you have an idea of what Google Chrome extensions are, let's look at how to access them online. I find that the easiest way to get to Google Chrome extensions is really just to search it through Google. So I would do Chrome extensions. And then we can go straight to the Chrome Web Store. Now, some of these extensions may cost money, but most of them are free. So you just want to watch that as you're going through. It's just like adding apps to your phone or apps to your computer. It's the same type of idea, but these are little extra pieces that live in Google Chrome. So let's search to see what might be out there. If you're someone who's using Microsoft OneNote, maybe you want to find OneNote here in the Google Chrome extensions. And here we can see there's a OneNote Web Clipper. So we're going to go through the process. This is just one of thousands of extensions. Um, so you might want to look up some of the different apps that you use to see if maybe there is a function in a Google Chrome Web extension. All you have to do once you find what you're looking for is click on that and then you can add to Chrome. And it's going to potentially give you a little pop-up like this, and you can say add extension. And what it's doing is downloading something to your computer that then connects to Google Chrome automatically. And you might get an introductory page to explain to you how it works. You will probably get a little pop-up to let you know where it is. And up here in the upper right is where all those extensions live. They are to the right of the URL bar. 
So that's what all these little icons are up here. They are extensions that I have added to my Google Chrome. So again, this Chrome Web Store is where you can get to those. If you've added one and you want to look for more, you can use what's called the breadcrumbs right here to go back to the home. And then you can search for more. You can also use their categories, which could be really helpful if you're not really sure what you want, like news and weather here. If you see something that you like, you can try it on your extensions. If you find that you don't like it, I'll show you in a second how to get rid of those. Are you learning something new from this video and you'd like to see more videos in the future? If so, you can click on the subscribe button that's below the video. Once you do that, you'll see a bell icon. If you click on the bell, you'll receive notifications each time a new video is posted. Your settings for your Google Chrome extensions are this little puzzle piece that you see right here. So you'll see your initial or your picture if you are logged into Google Chrome, and then a couple over you'll see the little puzzle piece. If you click on that, this will show you all of the extensions that you currently have, and it will have different sections. This one says no access needed. There are other sections where you might have an extension that needs access to certain things, and it will lay out what exactly it has access to so that you have that security of knowing what is accessing what on your computer. You can also see here, this is where you can pin different extensions. So you could have an extension that's loaded in Google Chrome, but not showing up here. Let's see what that looks like. If I'm not using my web clipper very often and I don't want to see that, I could unpin it. You can see it disappeared from this little list of icons and it's still here. It's just not pinned to where I can see it up in the corner. I can always go to the puzzle piece and find it again. You can see the one that we just added, the OneNote Web Clipper is not pinned, so I don't see the icon up there, but I could pin it and then that icon pops up. And so you can see there's lots of space for lots of different extensions. You also have some settings for each of your different extensions if you click the vertical dots. When we click this, we can go straight to that program. We can remove from Chrome straight from here if we need to. If I need to manage the settings for my extension, I can go here. And then I can also see the permissions that it's using. And you may have some different options here for each different extension. So I would go explore that if you want to see what your options are. And the manage extension is going to be different for every single extension. So it will take you to a screen where you can make some changes to your extension and those will be different depending on what the extension does. If you want to manage all of your extensions at once, you'll go to this gear at the bottom that says Manage Extensions. This will bring you to the Extensions page. You can see it brought us to Chrome Extensions. And so these are your extensions. This is not the page where you would go and search for more extensions. You would search within your own from here. You want to go to the Chrome Web Store if you want to add more extensions. I've had this throw me for a loop several times, so that's why I wanted to point that out. This search is just searching the current extensions. You would go back to the Web Store with this link over here in order to find more. Here you can see you can turn your extensions on and off. That's what this little button does. You can look at the details for them. You can remove them from here. And so this is a great place to see everything you have going on at the same time. Another customization that you can do is if you want to rearrange your extensions, all you have to do is click on one, drag it to where you want it, and drop it. And that will rearrange your extensions and the order of them up here in the upper right corner. Google Chrome extensions can be a lot of fun, but they can also be a rabbit hole that you can fall down. <laughs> so I do caution you to think about what you might need before you start diving into this, because you could spend hours doing this and finding all kinds of extensions. You also want to be careful that you don't get multiple extensions that do the exact same thing. So if you have two or three different virus protections, they might end up conflicting with each other. Now, things like OneNote, Evernote, they're going to those specific accounts. So in that case, you don't have to worry about them overlapping, but you just want to think about, do I already have an extension that does this? Because we don't want them to conflict with each other. Sometimes it can make weird things happen with your Google Chrome. So just be aware of that. 
And one other point about when you're setting up your extensions, if it's something that you have an account with, you most likely will need to log into that account to make the process work. For instance, going back to that Evernote Web Clipper, if you use that, then you'll need to log into your Evernote so that it knows what account to send that Web Clip to. So just know that there's certain extensions that you'll need to log into and then other ones that you won't. I hope this gives you a good picture of Google Chrome extensions and what you might be able to do with those. Have fun exploring, and I hope you find that these save you a lot of time. If you still feel like you need help with this or any other tech challenges, you can schedule a tech stress breakthrough call with me. You can do that by clicking the heart in the monitor that's above me now, or you can go to my website, which is gatewayproductivity.com, click on the Let's Talk button and schedule a time. Thanks for joining me and I'll see you next time.